green whenever i hear the word green the first thing which comes to my mind is nature so there's this a uh, beautiful connection between green and nature that we all have inside us there are lot of companies multinational companies which actually take advantage of that they very well know that whenever we hear the word green how if they tag their products with green automatically we will buy that product because we all think that if anything is connected with green is safe clean and pure so here i am raising my voice again is green washing which is done by all multinational companies nowadays let me illustrate this with a simple example now we all are beauty conscious isn't it now when i was kid girls usually were more beauty conscious but believe me nowadays boys are more beauty conscious than girls so because of this more consciousness towards beauty this more demand and because of this more demand there's more products in the market and if you if you have noticed all these products come with this green wrappers and with green color with leaves designs in leaf and all right so what are the purpose behind it of course green washing i would like to illustrate another example which we all are familiar with there's this vague advertisement where there will be this beautiful lady actually surrounded by this pristine forest full with exotic fruits and she'll be lying down on the green lawn and she'll be gently asking you to buy the shampoo so well do you really think that these products are green in nature and what are, what is the purpose of these multinational companies to show the show green background right now you might be getting the connection right so here i am to talk about green washing so what is green washing green washing is a process of claiming a product to be green eco friendly but in reality it might be different this is an example which is very close to my heart the congo basin the largest peat forest in the entire world is in congo the peat forest of congo the last decade there was a discovery which claims the peat forest of congo contains nearly 30 billion tons of carbon so what is this peat peat is actually accumulation of dead and decaying organic matter from plant source or in simple words we can say that peat is the first stage towards the conversion to coal this part of discovery is and have in the entire world and definitely all these multinational companies oil giants will definitely notice this so they put forward a plan to mine out this resource from this peat forest carbon resources and they very well know that naturalists will come against them they will protest against them so that's when they put forward the green washing idea they put forward a simple plan they claim they claim that they will put they will plant hundreds of trees crop trees elsewhere in congo which will compensate with the mining activity we we all know that mining activities produce carbon so whatever carbon produced during the, due to mining activity will be compensated by the plants planted elsewhere in the congo really unbelievable isn't it because we all know that a full fledged forest like peat forest right is so enormous and so much creatures are living there so much habitats are there right nothing can match that definitely a human made environment will never match that so let me take you to one uh, example which we all think is very eco friendly the electric cars now we all know that electric cars does not produce carbon dioxide isn't it well i also was thinking like that but do you know that batteries which these electric cars run right these batteries how these batteries are made all these electric batteries right are made in the manufacturing units and they require rare earth metals 
Now, how these, how these companies are obtaining earth metals, they have to do mining activity. So you all know that mining activity produces carbon dioxide. So it's not wrong to say that electric cars also produces carbon dioxide. Maybe not at the consumer end, but definitely at the manufacturing end. So if these electric cars are also not pure, it's not representative of clean energy, then what else is, isn't it? Well, during my MSc, I was working on a project. I was working on microalgae. And microalgae, my project, actually discovered something which actually made me happy during my MSc time, of course. I was, I was very fortunate to discover lipid productivity of microalgae. My microalgae was able to phycoremediate the heavy metals on its surface. In simple words, it was able to adsorb heavy metals on its surface, thus purifying the water in one way, and at the same time was able to produce lipid, which can be used as biofuel. So a multi-purpose project. Now, biofuel is carbon neutral in nature, because if you grow algae, it will absorb carbon dioxide, as you know, due to the process of photosynthesis. And when the biofuel is burned, of course, it will emit carbon dioxide, so it will compensate. So we can say that it is carbon neutral in nature. So we do have solutions. We do have green solutions for the, bio, the fuel which we have, right? So we should move from fossil fuels to much more cleaner green solutions. So our policy makers really have to decide whether they really want to continue greenwashing us all or they really want to put uh, more money and investment and research on clean energy. So we, as a responsible consumers, as a res as smart consumers, we should decide what products we are buying because we should not get carried away by the photo, the picture which is there in the product. If one product is green in color, we should not think that that's green in color. A smart consumer will question that. We always should check the fact behind that product. Why that product is green? All the companies are not greenwashing. They are genuine companies which actually do back their products with proper facts. So as a smart consumers, it's in our hand. We should decide and we should choose proper green products. So I would like to conclude my topic by quoting my hero, Sir Charles Darwin. The most noblest attribute of man is the love towards nature, is the love towards creatures. So love nature, love everyone, and love every single soul on this planet.